guys welcome to another episode of ride and chat my name is dr sam um i have picked uh one of the 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 top 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 notch uh experts when it comes to hospitality industry he has seen it all he has been in the industry for many many years um as you you guys can see we are shooting at marvin peak hotel uh because he has worked here before he has worked at labadi before accra city hotel before and I mean, he has all the knowledge when it comes to uh, hospitality industry. So as usual, I don't do plenty introduction. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and then allow him to have the floor and then share his experience within the industry and what his plan of uh, when it comes to Volta region and other regions across the Ghana. My boss, across Ghana. <laughs> it's across the Ghana. My boss, welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you have the, your, the, the platform, the floor, you can share your experience within the industry and then your plan for Volta region and other regions across the country. Okay, so like you rightly said, um, yeah. I started hotel in 2004, okay. where I joined hotel right after um, secondary technical where I studied architectural draftsmanship. Okay. I was actually supposed to be an architect. <laughs> but <laughs> after going to hotel in 2004, mm -hmm. I fell for it. I realized this is what I wanted to do. Okay. So then I started doing hotel from Labadi Beach Hotel in 2004. I basically worked in all the big hotels in Ghana. Wow. So like from Labadi Beach in 2004, um, then I did um, um, Best Western mm -hmm. Premier mm -hmm. Airport Residential, okay. and then I did um, Planters Lodge okay. in Takrade, okay. and then I moved back to Accra to Mervyn Peak Ambassador Hotel. That's this very hotel. This very hotel. Yeah, yeah I did about six years, and then I moved to Royal Senchi. The almighty Royal Senchi. Yes, Royal Senchi. <laughs> Royal Senchi Resort. Okay. So from Royal Senchi Resort, I moved back to Accra, to Kempiski, Gold Coast City Hotel. Okay. And then I left to Accra City Hotel. Mm -hmm. And then from Accra City Hotel, I'm back to Kempiski. Or I went back to Kemp uh, Kempiski, Gold Coast City Hotel. Okay. So when it comes to the industry, I have about 18 years working experience in the same field, but from different hotels, hotels. and with different grades or different level of uh, designation. Okay. okay. Yeah. I started as a casual and uh, I grew it through the rank and uh, with um, an hospitality background hospitality management background okay. and then I became food and beverage manager okay I think um, when I became the food and beverage manager in Accra City Hotel I was there more or less like the youngest food and beverage manager at that time at that time in 2016 because I was around 34 35 by then okay. and uh, everybody in that position were like older older than you yeah okay. I remember one time a gentleman came to look for the food and beverage bandager mm -hmm. and then I was called. I came out, met this gentleman and he was like, are you the supervisor or you are the one I'm looking for? So I'm like, I was like, okay, I'm the food and beverage manager here. Yeah. And then he was okay. like, oh, okay. He was expecting to see an older, Old, man, older man with beard okay. or grace. <laughs> yeah, so I get it. then it was it was quite exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's still exciting though. Okay. So my career in the industry has been challenging, but very interesting. Mm -hmm. With regards to moving from hotel to hotel, to hotel. and I mean that also helps you grow. Mm -hmm. Those I started with mm -hmm. that refused to move mm -hmm. are probably now supervisors or something. I'm not too sure. But the last time I checked. Mm -hmm. I met one person I started with who is now a supervisor. Okay. So that's how the industry is. Industry. The more you move, the more you gain experience, experience. and the more you grow. Okay. 
okay. with some educational background, you are able to move faster. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, within you have. Let's say uh, you've traveled across all the hotels in terms of working yeah. and you've gained experience and it's not just the small hotels but the big, big, big hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, is there I think a... I've worked in about three five-star hotels. Wow. You just left it only one. Mm -hmm. I'll not mention the other one but okay. I'll mention the other three. Okay. Labadi Beach Hotel, mm -hmm. Movenpeg mm -hmm. and Kempiski. You've worked at all these hotels? Yes. But these are top, top yeah, yeah, hotels yeah, yeah. in Ghana. These are top-notch hotels in Ghana. These are um, five-star hotels. Mm -hmm. they have, I've not only do, um, I mean, I've not only done the five-star hotel. Mm -hmm. I've only done um, three and four-star. Four star. Yeah, I did one three-star in um, Takrade, Plantes okay. Lodge. That okay. was only three-star okay. hotel in my career. The rest are four and five stars. Five star hotels. Yes. So, I mean, let's come back to the topic of Ghana attracting uh, visitors into the country and the role these hotels are playing in that angle. Um, do you think our our environment or the country is, is well positioned enough to become maybe a tourism hub for foreigners coming into the country and what role is these hotels also playing in that uh, regard? Um, yes, Ghana. Ghana stands to gain a lot. <laughs> Only if attention are given to the tourist sites. Okay. I mean, for a tourist to want to come to Ghana, mm -hmm. I mean, they are not just coming to the city to come and look at our roads. Okay. But they want to see exciting mm -hmm. places mm -hmm. where they could have fun. Fun. Okay. And they could spend less. Okay. Mind okay. you, tourists are not coming to spend heavily. Mm -hmm. Like. They are not really interested in the luxury facility. Yes, once in a while you find those who are interested in the luxury facilities. Mm -hmm. But most often you find people who want to go to the hinterland, mm -hmm. where the falls are, where they could be climbing mountains, mountains, where they could do all those activities that they've been looking out to be doing. Okay. I mean, they are used to the luxury wherever they are coming from. Okay. So why would they want to do another luxury when they come down here? Okay. I mean, some of them would like to come and find their ancestors. Okay. So if if we want to be that country where tourists would want to come, then it means our accommodation and cost of uh, doing things we feel it could be better. It could be better. Yes. Okay. Okay. You made mention of the foreigners or the tourists coming into the country going to places where they can have these mountains, trees, like things they've not seen when it comes to uh, um, vacation. Because when you go to Dubai, Dubai has branded itself as a luxury place where you go and see expensive things, pay money to actually enjoy life. Can Africa or Ghana brand itself in, in, in an area where we can utilize the small things we have but are very precious to attract these story, uh, tourists into the country? Yes, it is very 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 possible okay i want to believe that if before um wanting to target these people coming okay into ghana we should target the locals okay if the locals are able to enjoy the tourist sites mm -hmm. it is very possible for the i mean outsiders or tourists should also come coming okay. the local tourists and the foreign tourists would all build the same um, impact impact now we are looking at, everybody is looking at the Western world. I don't want to promote any country. Any country. <laughs> everybody is looking at traveling out <laughs> on vacation by this time. Today, it's a long weekend. It's a long by weekend. this time, you see people going to another country, going to spend their money. But if you're able to, I mean, um, if you're able to work on our tourist site, this goes to the government. If you're able to go work on our tourist site, make good use of them, invest money to let them look very well. Of course, everybody would want to go or would want to come to Ghana okay. and also have a feel of what we have. We, we have a lot of tourist sites. The other time I was, I wouldn't say I was arguing with some people on the platform why the concentration is only on okay. uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it was almost a fight on, on this um, discussion. 
so that's the the, the, uh, the the tourism aspect or the hospitality aspect you yes. guys when you met you having conversation yes. okay yes. and i drew a question why is, is attention always on go why don't we shift it like every year or every two years attention goes to one area okay not only go because with this paragliding, mm -hmm. I want to believe that even in Afajato you can have it. Okay, okay. Because it is quite high over there. Okay. So why should it be only pro? Okay. okay. So uh, to me, I think it is not fair. Or the government is not fair. Yes, they've given a lot of attention and a lot of investment to you. But when it comes to this paragliding and all that, they could also look at another area where there are equally high. High, I don't, I don't know how to even put it. High mountains where they can also fly. Just look at the Fajar too. Okay. Apart from the the heights, you could also use the waterfall down there. Okay. So you have two things at a go. You know, yeah. and uh, other, there are equally other nice places like the Monkey Sanctuary, the Shy Hills, all those places where you go to Central Asia. Even in Ashanti region, there are places one could go to. Okay. So why spend? All the energy and to the media houses, okay. They pay so much attention. Ghana, we like following one thing too much. <laughs> this is our problem, okay. <laughs> Everybody wants to go to the same place, okay. So then the media begins to promote the same place to us each and every day, making noise. Go, 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 go. I mean, why don't you do uh, Busum, Bus, Le Busum, Chio, Le Busum, Chio. okay? So I, I, I know out there. They don't only concentrate on one place. Okay. They have multiple places they spend on to make things happen. Okay. So if you are also able to do this, it will help us. Okay. And it will even create more jobs for those in the rural area okay. to get jobs to do instead of everybody wanting to come to Accra. Okay. I mean, if there should be something very busy out there, I would also want to leave Accra okay. and go work there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you you made mention of Kwewu uh, being uh, the Kwewu Easter experience. Been moved to other regions, not just Kwewu alone. Exactly. And you, 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 you hammered on Volta region and then Ashanti region, Central region, Central region. In what are in the north as well? What are some of the the things that you see as an industry expert, as a hospitality industry expert, that these regions need to put in place or government need to put in these regions to attract people to to go there? For example, the canopy work in Cape Coast. Okay. There could be something done around it. Okay. They could find a very good, nice restaurant, mm -hmm. a nice entertainment apart from the canopy walk. Mm -hmm. When you go to that area, apart from the canopy walk, what else? Then to the, is it the fort or the castle mm -hmm. or however they call it? Okay. Apart from the canopy walk, when you do the canopy walk, you eat. What next? What next? Okay. It shouldn't just be that. They should be able to create something else around the canopy work that you could spend money to do. To do. Okay. So you do the canopy work, you go down, you go and eat, or some people take their food there. Mm -hmm. There should be something that can pull out money from people apart from the work. Okay. You know. Okay. So I think in these various places, mm -hmm. there should be multiple concepts where people can spend money. Should it be too expensive so that the locals can be able to afford, afford it? it yeah. But for the, the the tourists coming into Ghana, yes, they they, they they are fully prepared to spend their money. Okay. So if you don't have places, they could spend the money. So at, they, they have to have options. Options, okay. exactly. Okay. That is okay. the English okay. options. <laughs> yeah, they there should options. be multiple options that where will they blow are their mind. exactly where they will spend and feel okay. We were here. We visited this place. We went this place. And then it helps, okay. but if it is only the canopy walk, mm -hmm. and then I come down and then I come to eat, mm -hmm. and after that I'm coming back to Accra, or I'm going back to wherever I'm coming from, mm -hmm. then what's the need? Mm -hmm. I okay. feel the government can do better than what we are currently having. Okay. It can do better than what we are currently having. You see a lot of hospitality people, they have all this experience, but yes, yeah, Ghana, yeah, Kasa, BNT. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
ever but, since this whole quote. Yeah, I've thing. been there twice. I've been there once mm -hmm. and I couldn't spend three days. Wow. We left Accra on Thursday, mm -hmm. but I started there I was back because it feel bored. Mm -hmm. I mean it's boring. boring. Apart from the jams here and there, what else? else and the, is happening. Yeah, thankfully there is no paragliding. Okay. Then there wasn't this paragliding. paragliding. We left Accra on Thursday, by wow. Saturday I was back to Accra. Wow. Uh -huh. So before we started shooting, you made mention of, I mean, Volta region having the potential to become one of the best tourist destinations yes. in the country. Uh, why do you think so? Uh, I think so because, mm -hmm. you know, my very first time experiencing Easter okay. in the Volta region. Okay. I was then in Lagos. Okay. 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 So when we were coming home, or when you were coming back to Ghana, mm -hmm. I wasn't brought straight to Accra. Okay. I was taken straight to the village <laughs> wow. to experience Easter. Okay. And according to the reason why I was taken straight there is because everybody goes to the village, okay. especially the Votari, the Votarians. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes to the village okay. during Easter. Okay. And. I was also told that bigger events like funerals and what have you are shifted around this time because everybody comes from wherever they, wherever are, they are just to meet families, make merry, have whatever they want to they have, want to have, have yeah. fun yeah. and then go back. Okay. And aside this, I was taken to some areas that I had never been to. But whilst I was in uh, Nigeria with my dad, I, w I happen to go to Olumorok. Olumorok is one of the Yoruba land where they have this high mountain you could climb and go do whatever you want to do. Okay. I was there twice, school okay. excursion. Okay. Okay. So I came back to Ghana and I was taken straight to the Volta region and I felt like, okay, this is it. And there were events here and there, every area, like I was in Avada Park, there were activities you could experience. Okay. I was taken to Akachi, where my dad comes from, there were activities. We went okay. to Keta, there were activities. So I felt like, okay, this is it. Okay. But if we don't promote our own <laughs> as the Bulgarians or as Airways, okay. who will promote for us? For us. Okay. Okay. A lot of all these people that are promoting the Kuhus or the Kuhu or Kuhu, they are can't. Yeah, we have an opportunity where we could promote our own, go have fun, and come back. Okay, so from based on what you're saying, the voters also have to do more. We have to, to do, do more. more to bring water reading to the attention of the public because there are a lot of things they could experience. Yes. Now let me ask this question before we, we end this episode. Um, should Funua be part of tourist attraction? Well, it is. <laughs> it is <laughs> because you are going to bury someone. It is because uh, well, my my stepmom comes from Ashanti region, okay. so I have every right to talk about Ashantis. Okay. When you go for funeral in Kumasi, how do you feel? It's like a whole party. Yeah. Funeral in Kumasi is is is, is a different. Guys, I'm telling you, I have been to Kumasi on several occasions. And funeral in Kumasi is, is a whole mood. It's a whole thing altogether. It doesn't look like funeral. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, well, I, I mentioned the funeral because it's one of the things that happened around that time. Apart from the funeral, there are a lot of activity. activities. Okay. I, want, I want to even believe that even in Kuru, there are funerals around during, during, those, during this period. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, we can't do away with funeral. But there are a lot of activities that goes, on, goes there. on there are a lot of tourist sites a lot a lot that okay. we can experience okay so guys i mean this he has been one of the top 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 guys in the tourism or hospitality industry let me put it in a broader scale he has been in the industry for many years and he has just shared his rich i mean ideas his experience when it comes to tourism how to promote ghana and he's particular about Volta region, Ashanti region, and other regions. We can move the Easter vibe to those places, and even funeral. It can even be part of tourist, I mean, attraction, which is a good thing. Uh, my name is Dr. Sam. The show is right in charge. So, my boss, is there anything you want to add, advice, or any final words you want to say before we we, we pull the curtains down? Uh, okay. So, what I would like to say is, mm -hmm. um, this will probably go to 
those offering hospitality courses. Okay. Um, the industry is an industry where experience and education, you go very far. They shouldn't look at it as if, I mean, in the past, where they say, when you work in a hotel, they say they kind of assume you are a dropout. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now people are doing um, masters, PhD, degree, what have you, okay. in hospitality and tourism sector. Okay. So it, it's it's a career, mm -hmm. not a job. If it's a job, we wouldn't be wasting our time. It's okay. a career that okay. you could get okay. in the industry. Okay. So it shouldn't look like. Um, you're passing through the industry. industry. So you, you're passing through, you work and then get some money and then move on. Move it shouldn't be that. Yeah. It should, it be, should a be a career. Yeah. So when you go to school to learn hospitality and tourism management, mm -hmm. don't come out and go divert to fashion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's possibly what is happening now. Happening now. People just pass through the industry mm -hmm. and then move on. Some also go do the course, mm -hmm. use the certificate, for something else. Why is it so? This uh, <laughs> <laughs> one, honorable Marco Craig Kumante, and his people should come and respond, come to, and it. respond to it. <laughs> Why people go to hospitality schools and end up in the fashion industry? Yes, I, I guess they feel the industry is not paying enough. Okay, yeah. but is it paying? If enough? I should be blunt, mm -hmm. I think we could do better. Okay. okay. Yes, we could do better could because do better. if you pay a waiter mm -hmm. 700, 800 Ghana cities, I mean, oh, come on. It's, it's too low. Those doing that should stop. Should stop there. Those yeah. doing that should stop. 800, it's, 700, it's bad. It's, 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 yes. it's, it's too low. But you, you are a big man. You've worked at the, I mean, the five stars, the three stars, the four star hotel. So you earn a lot. <laughs> we are trying. I mean, it's your negotiate, a negotiating power. Okay. You need to okay. negotiate well. Well, and then your experience I mean, on the job. I mean, the more you grow on the job, mm -hmm. with your experience, mm -hmm. you are able to ask for what you want. You want, okay. Well, okay. sometimes they wouldn't give you exactly what you want, mm -hmm. but they will meet you Half halfway. Okay. But if you are down there, you know, we always want, I mean, we are always looking at being employed. employed so yeah. it's more like you don't have a choice than mm -hmm. to take it. Mm -hmm. But if you have that experience and you know, okay, if I don't take this, I can always get something else that is better. Mm -hmm. You're able to tell your employer or your interviewer mm -hmm. that, okay, if you are not giving me this, mm -hmm. I'm not taking it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Unlike you are, you being desperate mm -hmm. and you want it. So as soon as they mention it, you are jumping to it. Jumping to it. That is the issue. Okay. So... Uh, my boss has said it all. He has, I mean, shared his rich knowledge, ideas when it comes to tourism, when it comes to hospitality industry in Ghana. Thank you guys for watching the program. S Ride in Charge. My name is Dr. Sam. Um, God bless everyone and God bless my boss for coming to share his experience.